since I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision, and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign, and she boring. Love the way you. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Ivan, and we are here on Torque Drift with a banger of an update. We got some new cars, and if you can see right there, new content. Long Beach is here. Perfect time with Long Beach happening this weekend. Uh, definitely excited for round one of the FD season. We also got Matt Fields, Christos Blues here for new cars in the game. Super excited. I do have both those cars. We're going to hit those up today. Hopefully, we have a uh, maybe a Long Beach. No, nope, we don't have a Long Beach race, but we are going to go practice at Long Beach just because, well, we have it, so why not use it? So, we got some new uh, loading screens as well, right there with that HGK Eurofighter E92 M3. So, we got Formula Drift Circuit at Long Beach. So, like I said, I do have Matt Fields' uh, Wish Falcon Tires uh, Corvette, as well as Christos Blush's E92 Eurofighter. We're going to rip Matt Fields' car. Definitely been having incredible amounts of fun with Matt Fields' car. So we're going to give it a go and have a little fun with it here. It shifts the thing into fourth. That heat wave sticker on the tail light. Initiate in. So definitely been super excited. Oh, that was a little bit too early. Been super excited to see that we got Long Beach Circuit. I have been know that these tracks have been coming out for quite some time. But uh, just been waiting for them to come out. Oh, there we go. That was a nice flick around there. So Long Beach is here. Perfect. If you notice, they released it right before the Long Beach round one. Super excited about that. That was not a bad run. We're going to retry that, though, because it wasn't the best. So definitely excited to see more FD cars in the game, as well as now you can paint alloys. Now, I haven't uh, actually unlocked that yet because it looks like you got to pay 200 uh, you know, gold in order to permanently unlock it. That was a better initiation right there. Not as close to that wall as I wanted to be. Pretty decent out to that touch and go. Power alley, touch and go there. This is a this is a solid run. Hardy break flick. Oh, I could have downshifted, but we kept on the power. This Corvette of Matt Field is definitely super powerful and incredible car. That's over 100k. I will take that, and we're going to definitely try and chase it down with Matt Field's car. So, some new cars, new content, and, you know, it's definitely cool to see an actual FD track other than uh, Cali Banks here in Torque Drift, which is uh, basically uh, giving us, you know, potential that there's going to be way more FD tracks coming here in the near future because uh, they're bringing them. They're bringing out these banger updates. I totally missed that transition. Ooh, we're going to have to retry that. They're bringing out these banger updates with all these pro cars and stuff like that, and now we got a pro track. Think about it. And now we got a Pro 2 driver who's going to be rocking uh, the Torque Drift logo in Pro 2. So we're going to actually retry our chase there. So, like I said, Torque Drift, we are here. And uh, definitely, I am loving this update. I hope you guys are too. I've been playing with this uh, Corvette for a little bit today. And uh, I've also seen some people running uh, the uh, Eni2 Eurofighter. Whoa. We throw in tandems right now. Hard flick. That was a pretty good chase run. Two Falcon Tires vets going toe to toe. That was a nasty chase run, actually. So, like I said, pro this is probably one of my favorite new cars right now. Favorite new FD cars. Not gonna lie. It's uh, it's crazy fun, crazy cool car. Definitely love Matfield and what he's doing with in the Formula Drift scene with that car. So we're gonna probably switch it up to uh, Christoph Blusch's now, and uh, run that a little bit. So definitely excited for round one this weekend. Qualifying is today. So I'm going to be watching that and everything this weekend. I'm going to be uh, rooting for my favorite drivers and uh, see who's going to see who's going to take round one of the FD championship. We got, you know, defending champion James Dean in his Warthouse car already uh, looking pretty strong. You know, Osbo's in the same car, but then we got some... Uh, Got some new cars in the mix, some new drivers like Dylan Hughes coming up in the Pro, Pro from Pro 2. Uh, we got some uh, new cars on the on the block. We got an all-electric Camaro, which is going to be uh, doing it. I don't know if that's considered an electric slide or drifting. But, well, it's here, and uh, well, it's going to be pretty sweet to see. 
So if you guys are excited for Long Beach, let me know down in the comments. Who is your pick for who do you think is going to take round one of uh, the FD 2019 championship? So E92 Eurofighter, definitely a fun car. Not as uh, controllable as uh, the VET I'm feeling, but of course, if I did some fine tuning, I could probably get this car to dial very nicely. So we are going to try and chase chase down, and then we're probably going to try and get some tandems with Matt Fields' as, uh, Corvette there because uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that car, and it looks sick. So I'm hoping maybe we'll get some uh, Falcon tires available to be put on other cars since Falcon Tires is now in the game with a couple cars. Daoshihara. Oh, we also got Achilles Radios on a bunch of cars. So I feel like we should be getting some other tires other than Nexon possibly as an option. Just throwing down to Z92 and this uh, in the vet. These new cars, definitely crazy fun cars to drive. And uh, they're definitely kind of kind of crazy to see. That Eurofighter, that Carbon Kevlar E92, just flicking it down the uh, the shoot of Long Beach, and uh, like I said, I can't wait for this weekend. Gonna be watching all of it, and uh, gonna be having a blast doing it. So we're gonna go try and get some tandems. I don't know where we're gonna tandem. I did want to showcase the uh, Long Beach track. Obviously, everybody's everybody's running it. So we do have a Cali Banks and an Ebizu. So of course, you know, we're gonna run Cali Banks. Cali Banks has been my favorite track since Torque Drift came out. But uh, Long Beach seems to be uh, taking a little bit more for me right there. But of course, Cali Banks, definitely a harder track to drive. You got to be on point for sure. So we're going to see who we got. We got Scott605. Looks like we got a little S14 to go against. So when I was doing this, I was having a hard time initiating into the bank with this car. I was not... Uh, it's not initiating right. I was initiating too late, so we're just gonna flick it in early. There we go. And that washed up a little bit. And uh, sorry, Matt. Kind of uh, just did some serious damage to your vet. Oh, oh boy. We lost the bumper. Sorry, dude. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get it fixed before uh, I start at Long Beach. Sorry, man. Ooh. This was not a good run for this car. We're definitely gonna have to try that again. But we're gonna try and get a tandem. Hopefully uh, he got a good lead and we can get a good chase. He got a, definitely a very good lead. So we're gonna try to throw down a baller chase to redeem ourselves. It is crazy cool to see, uh, you know, the sponsors and everything on these cars and the replicas of all these FD cars here in the game. We're gonna suck ourselves up. Ah, uh, the wall is getting me today. I've been so focused on running Long Beach, I forgot how to run uh, Cali Banks. I mean, that's a good way to run that wall. Definitely not the best way to run his car. Sorry, Matt. Not doing your, uh, not doing your vet justice here at Cali Banks. But you all know if you guys follow the channel, you guys follow Torque Drift and everything for me here on the channel. You guys know Cali Banks is like kryptonite for me. It's either good or bad. And right now that run was bad. So we're going to run it again. And we'll probably flip it up to the E92 of Christoph Blush. We've got Willy. It looks like an Adam LZ car. Hmm. I wonder if he was trying to replicate Adam LZ's S14. Or S14. S <laughs> 240. I don't even know why I said S14. So we're going to try and run this a little bit lower this time. There we go. That's a better run on the bank. Hold the line, flick it in. Watching those rotiforms stop on the handbrake. Just a tap. It's crazy to see this car in this game. I did not expect actually to see, oh, oh man. See this car in the game and super excited to get it. Did get this and a stock one, a stock, uh, Corvette, so we're going to be doing a full build on that Corvette as well because uh, we have a non FD Corvette that we can build up to our own standards and maybe throw a bit more power in there. Yep, I think that was supposed to be rough because Adam LZ is 240. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Should initiate in, there we go. Trying to throw down doors. 
I had to bail out that or we were gonna totally write his car off again. Oh, like he just did. Or a massive amount of angle in this Wish Vortex Supercharger Falcon tires Corvette. Ooh. Oh man, we we just running doors right now. Super excited with uh, FT season starting. It's gonna be playing this game so much more. Be doing some more live streams and stuff, bringing Turk Drift consistently to the channel throughout the FT season, as well as uh, Formula Drift inspired content on the channel and such like that. So look for more Torque Drift content coming to the channel regularly. Um, like I said, with the FTC in the Piranha, I'm going to be doing a lot more. It looks like we're going against him again, but we got a different car. So we're going to try throwing the Eurofighter in. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. The detail on this car is insane. The fans in the back and everything. They just uh, continue, continue to surprise me with the detail and uh, effort that they're throwing into this game. With all the cars and the tracks and everything like that, they're just they're just st oh, stepping up their game every update, and it's it's incredible to see you know the progression of this game. I'm glad to be a part of it with being in the sponsorship tree and you know out and uh, in contact with the devs and stuff. I'm glad to be a part of this game. It's super exciting for me, and it's been nothing but amazing being a part of Torque Drift with these guys. So I'm going to be trying to do more of it consistently on the channel as well as trying to uh, maybe get in some open lot maybe doing some uh, Q&A's with the devs some open lobbies with the devs and stuff like that I'm gonna be trying to uh, do stuff like that here on the channel here for the future that was really hard initiating in so I'm not as good with Christoph Belushi's E92 way better with Matt Fields's Corvette like I said I'm pretty sure if I dialed this car in this thing would be a monster. Kind of getting it right here. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, wall. Just door tap. So we're going to go check the other track, which I believe is Ebizu. We're going to try to run Ebizu in the Corvette. Not sure how that's going to work. Those wheels definitely look crazy on that car. So we take that win, I believe, as well. So if you guys are excited for Long Beach here on the game as well as in, you know, uh, the FD season. Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, who do you think is going to take top spot? Is it going to be, again, is it going to be James Dean? Is it going to be a new person? Is it going to be somebody we don't expect? You know, Denofa's sounding very confident. Matt Fields is sounding confident. Everybody's sounding pretty confident. Chris Forsberg with his new power plant. You know, everything has changed. A lot of cars have changed. There's new liveries, new designs, new sponsors, new teams. Definitely excited to get the uh, for the season to get started. I think we're gonna have to run this probably in third. But what gets me is the attention to detail that they did, like on these cars with you know the heat wave sticker in the uh, tail light. You know, heat wave is definitely a cool company with the sunglasses and stuff like that. I definitely want to try and get myself a set. For sure, they do look pretty sweet. Cool. It's not a bad. Oh, I sh cut that way short. I said it's not a bad run, but I cut that way short. So we're gonna see how we're gonna do fair in the chase. Got some big beefy tires on this vet. So he definitely bested us. I kind of uh, tire dropped there. So we're gonna try and get a better chase before we end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I do appreciate all the support. Make sure you tap that subscribe button if you were not a subscriber. Like I said, I'm gonna be running some more open lobbies and stuff here on Torque Drift, do, trying to get more consistent Torque Drift content to the channel, along with the regular gaming content. Ooh, wait, well, I did not expect to go through him. I thought I was gonna hit him. But I will uh, I will take that gracious godsend that was given to me of not losing my points and try and uh, keep our points. Oh, there, we hit him there. So as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On some of the new content, definitely one of my favorite new cars is this Matthews Corvette. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time. We're just getting doors. Look at that smoke coming from that Corvette. Woo! It's a smoke show with that thing. Locking those rotiforms up. And then we tank it. <laughs>